If you're looking to bridge your online Shopify store with physical retail locations, then the Shopify point of sale is the perfect solution. Let's review how to start placing orders at the point of sale. In a typical retail location, you may have a connected cash drawer. If so, you'll start your day by configuring the register and opening the day's session. From the More button in the bottom navigation, select Register. Each day, the store manager will open a new tracking session and count the cash in the drawer. You can enter this amount directly or use the counting tool to enter the specific bill values within the cash drawer. Once you save these values, the session for the day will start and you're open for business. Let's now review how to enter a basic order using the POS interface on an iPad tablet. The first step is for any staff member to log into the POS using their four-digit PIN. Any sale conducted during that logged-in session will be attributed to the staff member who's logged in to the iPad. Here's a quick overview of the Shopify POS screen. There's a product search form at the top. Quick access tiles occupy the left side of the screen, and the active cart is displayed on the right. The easiest way to get started is to search for an item. Staff members can enter the product name, SKU, or barcode into the form. Clicking on any of the search results will add a quantity of one to the active cart. You can quickly return to the cart by clicking on the same button. Clicking on any item in the cart allows you to adjust the inventory of that item. If you have a barcode scanner connected to the point of sale, you can quickly enter an item by simply scanning its UPC. It will automatically be added to the cart. You can add additional items to the cart by simply searching or scanning for more products. If you want to add products using a more detailed view, click on the Products button in the bottom navigation. You can select from the complete list of available products. Clicking on any item will show a detailed view, including description, inventory counts, pricing, and meta fields. Click on the plus icon to add the item to the cart. When all the items are in the cart, you're ready to check out. So simply hit the checkout button to proceed. To complete the order, choose the payment method from the available options. We'll use cash for this example. You're prompted to enter the accepted amount from the customer. The point of sale will calculate the required change automatically. The checkout is now complete and an order is created in Shopify. The cart will automatically clear and you're ready for the next customer. Now let's try another checkout. This time, we'll use some of the more advanced features and options available on the POS. We'll start by adding some items to the cart. We can use the tiles to perform quick actions. We can apply a discount to the entire cart or we can click on an item and provide a discount to just a single line item. If you want to add the customer during the checkout, you can select the tile and enter the customer's details into the terminal. Now the order will be associated to that customer in your system. This will be helpful for future checkouts and for shipping options. Another handy feature is adding a custom sale. This allows you to sell any product that's not in your system. You can simply key in the name and the price to quickly add it to the cart. The custom item will display in the shopping cart along with the other products. Since this is a custom item, there are no quantity restrictions or deductions. Another scenario that often comes up is shipping. Let's say the customer would like to order an item but have it shipped to them. Or maybe they want to buy something that you have online, but not in the physical store. You can enter their shipping address right at the point of sale. If it's an existing customer, you can simply reuse their saved shipping information. You can simply hit the checkout button to complete the purchase. The POS allows you to select from the existing shipping options that are already available in your Shopify store. And because this order requires shipping, when the order is saved in your Shopify store, it will be marked as unfulfilled. This will alert your fulfillment team to complete the invoice. 
The layout of the point of sale UI is important for setting up quick actions. The Shopify POS features custom tiles. These tiles allow you to assign actions to that button. Simply click Add Tile and choose from any of the available actions. Let's start with a basic product button. When someone clicks on the tile, it should add that item to the cart. You can create a custom layout with your top selling items. You can add as many tiles as you need, even across multiple pages. Let's add another product tile and expand our POS layout. You can see how easy it is to customize the screen for your store. But what if you wanted to add a tile to access a group of products? You can simply assign that tile to any collection in your store. Now, when you click the tile, the POS will display all of the items available within that collection. You can even assign a color to the tile to help better organize the layout and highlight certain tiles. Using the tiles is another great way to create custom products that your store needs for every checkout. For example, like a paper or plastic bag fee. Simply create a fee action and enter the details. Your team can then quickly add that fee to the cart with the press of a button. We've added a tile that adds the required 10 cent fee to the cart if a customer chooses to purchase a plastic bag. Your store associates can quickly add this fee with the press of a button. You can create additional tiles for any other custom fee or service. Another useful tile option is adding a quick link to an external website. Let's say you need your team to access a guide or sizing chart on an external site. You can create a tile with that specific URL. Now that site is accessible from a window right within the POS. Let's use Google as an example of our URL. Clicking the tile will open the URL and your associates can interact with the site just like any browser. When they're done, they can close the window and return to the active shopping cart. If at any point you need to clear the tiles and start fresh, you can access the smart grid from your POS settings. From here, you can quickly reset the grid with the press of a button. If you're a small business owner or a larger retailer looking to optimize your process, the Shopify POS makes business operations smoother and more efficient.